While preparing for the first of two games at the Topps Amateur Showcase, a prospect is approached by a representative of the MLB Scouting Bureau. Steve Deal, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go... And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Throw in time at first for route number two. Stepping in, number 23. He stands in for the first time in this one. Number 23. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line drive to left. Burns has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Yeah, it's an out, but he really. Striding in once again, Tom Black. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The one two. Ground is short. This could be two. Cleanly. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Digging in once again, Jason Young. The one two. Jason Young. It's a little chopper up the middle. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Digging in to try it again. Number 23. Number He's 23. 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. Hard on the ground towards short. Played on the backhand. In time to first, and there are two away. The catcher, number one, Larry Huffman. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Step on the back for one. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. Ready for another shot now. Number 23. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. 
only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Burns a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two, the final finish. The West Prospects Here wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. John Nunez pitches well enough to get the W, so that'll just about do Afternoon baseball here on the show. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead. Now at the plate, Carlos Cedeno. He will lead this one off today. Ball hit on the ground is short. Scooped up. Throw on to first in time, one away. Stepping into the box. Jeff Halen, one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Now the 2 1. Taylor made to short, 6 4. Back to first, but he wasn't able to set his feet that time as he gets knocked down. Ready for another chance? Carlos Zedeno. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1 1. Hard up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Stepping up to the plate, number 23. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. First pitch on its way. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Yeah, and scouts are going to really like this at that. So many young players want to do too much with a pitch, trying to pull everything. But he waited until the ball was deep in the zone, and he went with it to the opposite field. It's great to see a youngster who uses the whole field up there. I think that's what every major leaguer needs to learn. The Digging second, in for his second at bat, Mariano Guzman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Next will be the designated hitter, Chet Bowden. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. He'll throw back the second to get the out, and that's going to be all they get. Boy, a risky play there, but it pays off. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 23. One for one after a single this first time up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Yeah, he's at this showcase to show what he can do. And if he could string a few ABs like that together, he's going to see his stock rise and keep rising. Nothing spectacular, just a solid base knock. Now back to the top of the lineup, Mariano stepping in, Guzman. Mariano Guzman. Set to deal, here's the 3-1. Chopped weakly to the left, and a barehanded pickup. Wow! At the plate, number 23. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a looper to left. Pack moving in, but he won't get there. It falls in. Hey, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. It's really pretty simple. 
He's here at the showcase to show scouts he can contribute at the major league level. When he has at bats like that one, notching solid base hits, the scouts are going to sit up and take notice. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Mariano Guzman as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And he struck him out. So a big out there, but this slim lead is still in jeopardy with only one away. So a crucial moment here in standing in Chet Bowden as he'll go to work on trying to bring home the tying run from third and he got him so two outs now and with one big out still to go they may be able to get out of this mess with the lead intact coming to the plate now Jerome Driscoll a couple of walks for him thus far Jerome Driscoll Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Digging in and looking for more, number 23. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Slap hard the opposite way. In there, a base hit. So the lineup flips over and digging in Mariano Guzman as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now a bunt attempt here. And the throw will come to first so the sacrifice works as planned. Whoa. At an event like the Topps Amateur Showcase, you don't really expect someone to lay down a sacrifice bunt, but that's just what he did. Hey, I like it. He put his ego and desire to show what he could do aside and made a play that helped the team. And don't think the scouts won't take a note of that, because they will. Hit hard on the ground is short. And the tying run is in to score from third. It's a 4-4 game. Now to the plate, Jerome Driscoll. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Jerome Driscoll. Popped up. Gun has a play. Only play will be the first, so they get the out, but credit the RBI as the go-ahead run is in to score. Leading off the inning, Carlos Cedeno, and they'll need him to get something going here. Carlos Cedeno. The 0-1. Good to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. The East came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Irwin Burke earns the victory on the mound. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching ML. With nothing left to do but await his fate, this young hopeful receives a check-in from his former high school coach, who's been acting as his advisor through the process. Welcome back to the Major League Baseball. With the 29th pick, the Cleveland Indians select the shortstop from the East Region. After a long and lonely first two days of the MLB draft, this player's wait is finally over. While being selected is a major milestone, new draft 